First things first, when you're chopping onions, you want to secure your board and make sure that it's not wobbly. So the easiest way to do that is to grab some paper towels, get them a little bit damp, and put them under your board. When people first start cooking, they tend to want to use a smaller knife. Chef's knives tend to have a little bit better grip, and when you're cutting, you have just a tiny bit more control, and it's actually a lot safer. So our first method is going to be dicing. And the first thing that we're going to do is cut off the tip. And as with any cutting technique that we're ever doing, we want to get the flat side down so that it's not rolling around, it's nice and flat and secure. So we will just turn this guy upside down and we're going to cut this guy right in the middle. And then from here, we can very easily peel off this papery bit. And also, I like to take off the first layer of onion as well. It's a little bit leathery and a little bit dry and it won't really break down when we're cooking, so we don't want this at all. We'll put one of these off to the side and make sure you've got plenty of room to work with. On a lot of shows or tutorials, you might see that you need to make a lot of these horizontal cuts in there. Once you get to the top, it can get a little bit dangerous. So what you want to do is just very carefully place your hand on top of the onion so it's flat, and then take your chef's knife and do one or two horizontal cuts going all the way through the onion, but not quite hitting the root. And then you're going to turn the onion towards you and make cuts like this all the way across the onion. And whenever I'm cutting, I'm gonna use my hand kind of like a claw to make sure that I'm not cutting off my fingers. So you can kind of use these knuckles right here as a guide and kind of always have them upright like this so that the knuckles are touching the side of the knife. And you're gonna keep your fingertips curled in a little bit and that's gonna prevent you from cutting your finger. Don't worry about these straggly bits that fall off. We can get those later. And then we're gonna turn the onion over again and then we'll do those nice, even rolling slices. And still using your claw hand, you're gonna kind of push the onion together again with your pinky and your thumb, just to keep the onion more intact when you're slicing. And once you get to this point where you can't really hold the onion anymore because you've cut so much of it, just flip it over. And you can finish your cuts and get the most out of your onion. And then that's all the waste you have. So when you're gonna get your onions off the board, don't scrape your knife with the cut side on your board because that will dull it very, very quickly. So what we're actually gonna do is kind of flip this guy around and use the bottom to be scraping and only get enough that's comfortable. Don't try and get it all at once. A couple extra trips won't kill you. And that's dicing an onion. So next I'm gonna show you how to slice an onion two different ways. And we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. We're gonna cut off the tip. And again, we're gonna put it flat side down, use our claw hand, cut straight down, put one off to the side, tear off the papery layer. Also a little trick is to use the heel of your knife to get under those layers if you don't wanna get it under your nails. So there's two different ways to slice an onion. You can go this way or this way. Most people are comfortable doing it this way, but when you slice this way and start to cook, they actually start to break down and turn kind of into mush. These are great for any dish with raw onions, like a salad. And then for anything else, I'll show you the other kind of way to do it. So again, we're gonna go the flat side down, but we're actually gonna turn it towards you. Also, since you're gonna be cutting it this way and you don't really have to hold on to the root, you can just go ahead and cut this off. And then same thing, using that claw hand. And these are for any dishes where you're gonna need cooked onion. And the easiest way to remember that is just to look at the lines on the onion and cut with those lines. If you're cutting with those lines, the onion's gonna stay more intact and it'll stay together more when you're cooking. Once it starts to get hard to hold onto, you can just turn it down that way and start again. And then once you get to the edge, just take your time and voila. Next, we're gonna do onion rings. So for the onion rings, we're gonna start this one a little bit differently. We're gonna cut the top off the onion and we're actually not gonna peel this one and we're gonna leave this on so that we have something to hold on to. But what I am gonna do is cut a little bit off one of the sides, kind of where those outer layers are. We're not gonna use those outer layers anyway and it just gives us a flat surface to work on. So this way, when I'm trying to make rings, it's not rolling all over the place. And with these, because it is a smaller edge, just take your time. I'm always gonna have my claw ready to go. We can do nice, thin rings for something like a burger, and we can do a nice, thicker slice for something like onion rings. And then at this point, all we really have to do is just kind of press it in whichever way is easier and make them into those individual layers. And again, if there's any of the outer bit that is a little bit rubbery and thick, just get rid of that altogether. Then you're left with these beautiful, nice rings. 
These are great for making a variety of tasty videos. Guacamole onion rings, spinach and onion dip onion rings. If you can stuff it and freeze it, we'll fry it. <laughs>